Welcome to lesson four of advertising and marketing um, at uh, Port St. Lucie. Uh, this is uh, Professor Teferro bringing you uh, tonight's lesson on um, looking at your advertising campaign and trying to figure out whether you should do direct email or work through social networks. Of course, you can do both of these things uh, at the same time in many marketers and many advertising people do both of these things at the same time. But which one are you going to really focus on? Are you going to focus on direct email? Um, in the old days, they used to have direct mail where you send paper mail to the paper mailbox and people would you know, go, oh, I got mail. Not the AOL kind of mail, but the, you know, paper mail. So people like to get things in the mail. But that really doesn't work very well anymore. Uh, it's very cost. It's not cost effective. It's very expensive and uh, time consuming as well. So uh, most companies uh, on the internet utilize either uh, direct email uh, or they utilize a um, social networking strategy on some of the bigger social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. So, um, as your company representative for whatever product you are selling, um, you're going to have to decide which of these two routes you're going to concentrate on first. Uh, you may be doing both of them, but you're going to have to do one of them first. So, let's say you choose the email campaign. Well, um, the email campaign will most likely be in all 50 states. So you have to break down all the 50 states and you have to break down the major cities in the 50 states. And then you have to profile your product with your target group. Um, are you going to target um, young women for BMWs? No. Are you going to target um, uh, fancy candies for professional men over 30? No. So you have to match your advertising campaign with your target group. Uh, once you do that, then you can go over these state uh, mailing lists and uh, eliminate quite a few uh, from your mass mailings or e your email campaign. Um, then you have to consider what are you going to write in your email? Well, as we mentioned in the last lesson, you have to uh, grab somebody's attention right away. So uh, if it's a, um, a product to lose weight, you're just going to send a simple email saying that, do you want to go to the gym every day to lose weight? Or would you like an easier way? Well, most of us are lazy and we don't want to go to the gym. And so maybe we'll click through that email. Um, if you're doing, um, do you want to look younger than you are? Well, just about everybody wants to look younger than they are. So you might get a click through for that one. Direct mail can be very effective. Even if you only get five, 10% response, that's great. You know, even 5% response is great. So um, that's one way to go. The second way that you can go is the social networking um, method. And the social networking method is to have a company website, not a company website, but a company, um, I don't know, club or a company um, group on uh, Facebook and or LinkedIn. And um, within this group, you can highlight the products of the company. Uh, sometimes they don't let you sell them online, but you can still highlight the products without selling them online. Um, you can have things like testimonials. Oh, I tried these pills and now I lost 35 pounds. Well, you're not selling anything. You're just saying that this person took our product and they lost 35 pounds. And if they, you know, buy into that, they will research your product online, go to your website, or you might even have your website uh, on that group. Uh, a link to your website on the group. 
they'll just click to your website and then you can sell them uh, without getting in trouble with LinkedIn or Facebook. Um, the same thing holds true for uh, any type of product that uh, you may be interested in selling. If you have a group, uh, for example, uh, if you sell motorcycles, uh, you might want to join the Motorcycle Clubs of America, or uh, there must be at least 50 motorcycle clubs, uh, one in each state, so you can start you know, joining those clubs and start saying, oh, we have the latest uh, Kawasaki, blah, 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 or you know, we have the latest uh, Harley-Davidson, and then um, they'll click through your website. You can't sell them on the social networks, but you can have them click your, your link, and then you can sell them. So those are the two primary ways that you can um, get the attention of people for your product. You can either do it through direct email or you can do it through social networking. Um, and that's pretty much what I wanted to show you this evening. Um, I think we had enough for tonight and uh, we'll look at the next principle of marketing and advertising next time. This is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie um, asking you to all take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.